Hello, Hobo Joe here, and I received a package in the mail today from a far away distant land. Now, Afghanistan, home of the free, home of the brave, but they also have incredible sneakers. And that's what we're going to check out today. Now, I ordered these sh shoes from a fellow named Service Cheetah. That's at Service Cheetah on Twitter. And uh, it was an extremely sketchy deal. Uh, I believe he's a Pakistani man on Twitter. And um, he helped supply clothing and items for a movie called uh, The Interpreter, but I think they renamed that movie recently, and you can watch it online probably. I, th I think it's out right now. Um, <clears throat> now, the deal was done through PayPal, which to me, I felt like I would not see this money again, but that was okay with me. Uh, the man was extremely helpful, um, polite, and what surprised me the most was that the shoes had arrived and I would say about a week. They shipped from Dubai, um, which I was expecting Pakistan, but that makes more sense. Um, and they arrived in a week. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty impressed. They didn't come in a box, but they came wrapped in plastic packaging, which is fine. I mean, it's just shoes. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of an unboxing with an extremely rusty AK bayonet. Old AK bayonet. And I'm going to damage the shoes and ruin everything is what I'm going to do. This is a, probably the worst item to use to, to open this. It seems to be really dull. i use my hands instead. Service Cheetahs. Now these shoes are uh, particular, uh, interesting, I would say, uh, for the main reason that during the war in Afghanistan, these shoes were predominantly worn by the Taliban. been cleared for engagements uh, with the Taliban only by seeing people wearing white shoes. So you see a guy with white shoes on, go ahead and kill him. That's kind of interesting to, to note. Now these, uh, they feel pretty sturdy. They got a very hard sole. Feels like plastic, but like a soft plastic. Uh, you can tell the the stitching here is not the the greatest. There's a couple of marks on it, but I mean, these came from halfway around the world. There's a little bit of maybe a tear here. Coloring on the tongue there, but that's 
not a really big deal. It's got some ink that maybe like a serial number or something for the product that's smeared inside. Laces. What? Whatever. Oh, the stuffing of the shoe. Normal paper that you find in shoes when you buy. Cheetahs. And I feel with my hand it just it feels like like a regular felt material I mean so far I I don't know can you imagine fighting a war in the mountains wearing a pair of service cheetahs that is interesting in my opinion and why I ordered them so um, coming from all the way around the world from potentially Pakistan, shipped out of Dubai, arriving here in a week, costing only $130. I am honestly um, impressed. Uh, to me, this is a piece of history. And um, I'm happy. The guy he's uh, at, again, is uh, Service Cheetah on Twitter. Service S-E-R-V-I-S. Uh, just like the uh, symbol here and here, service, cheetah, cheetah spelt like that, is what he goes by on Twitter. He also sells uh, a lot of war rugs. If you're not familiar with what war rugs are, um, it's very popular during the war that a lot of the locals would sell hand-stitched rugs that had symbolism from the war. AK-47s, tanks, bombers, poppies, twin towers, planes blowing up twin towers, 9-11, things like that would be hand-sewn onto some some Afghan rugs. Um, so he sells a lot of those, a lot of beautiful ones as well. Uh, I'm actually surprised about that uh, with the quality of some of them. There was a huge one he posted recently that was incredible. Um, you can follow me on Twitter and see which one I'm talking about specifically, uh, and him as well. Again, that's Service Cheetah. I really appreciate the shoes. They were 130 US dollars, which, um, I mean, in the United States, that's a, that's an expensive shoe. However, this is a piece of history that came from across the world, and you cannot really buy these anywhere else in the United States. You can't buy them on Amazon. I didn't find any on eBay at the time that I was looking, um, so I, something that that I think uh, was well spent in my opinion. Uh, and I went ahead and unboxed them on top of my uh, Afghan flag. Now it's the Afghan flag. Originally it was uh, the Taliban flag, but this is now the flag of the country Afghanistan. And I purchased this flag um, from a youtuber twitter meme guy who's probably dead now uh lord miles rutledge um and he's gone missing in afghanistan recently so uh prayer for him i would definitely recommend saying wherever he may be but thank you for watching this video i'm gonna go ahead and put these sneakers on and you might see some some clips of these being laced together Service cheetahs. War shoes of Afghanistan. Goodbye. Alright, the service cheetahs are laced. They are tied and ready to go. I was looking at the um, tags that it came with. So this one says cheetah. On the back here. You can enter the price, size, code if you're the shop owner, I'm assuming. Service. That's what it says there. RS 3699 includes inclusive of sales tax. So I'm assuming this is some sort of like Pakistani ruble or peso or what have you. Uh, and then we have the instructions in um, some sort of Middle Eastern language, Asian whatever continent Pakistan's 
Asia. Shoe care instructions for cheetah footwear. Cleaning instructions. Rub the shoes gently with a damp cloth using luke, warm water, and mild soap. Allow shoes to dry naturally at room temperature. Storage instructions. Some sole materials, like the polyurethane, are prone to degradation due to hydrolysis damage when they are stored in warm, moist conditions for long periods. Store in a dry, well-ventilated area. Frequent usage actually prolong the life of cheetah shoe. Cheetah service. They've got like a little star logo going on over there. Seems like a... Reminds me of the Converse. So these are the cheetah shoes. Shoes of the Taliban. You can order them. 130 US dollars. Off of Service Cheetah on Twitter. Uh, and let them know that Hobo Joe sent you. Thank you for watching. And have a good night. Uh, check out Hobo Joe 421. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big Smitty, thank you for the recommendations out here. Free Alpha.